Welcome to my channel Navvedant. In this video, we are going to learn addition with fractions. So subscribe my channel, hit the notification bell to get the latest updates about my videos in my channel. Like this video and share this to your friends because this can be useful for them. So let's start our class. So type number one. Well, denominator HCF is one. So we have three examples. Let's solve them. One by three plus two by five. One by three plus two by five. So first, what do we do? Is cross multiply. Okay, three into two. Now three into two is six plus five into one. Five by for the denominator multiply three into five, which is fifteen. So one by three plus two by five is eleven by fifteen. This is type number one, which is denominator HCF is equal to one. Okay, type number one first example completed. Eleven by fifteen. Eleven by fifteen. So three by seven plus two by three. Here three by seven plus two by three. No changes. The same. Just cross multiply. Which is seven into two plus three into three. Fourteen plus nine. Seven into two is fourteen, and three into three is nine. By for the denominator, again multiply these both numbers. This is twenty-one, and three by seven plus two by three is equal to twenty-three by twenty-one. Okay. Twenty-three by twenty-one. Now five by seven plus three by five. Five by seven plus three by five. Five by seven and three by five. Just cross multiply, which is five into five twenty-five and three into seven twenty-one. Twenty-five plus twenty-one by for the denominator multiply seven into five. Which is thirty-five. Okay. Now the answer will be forty-six by thirty-five. Answer is forty-six by thirty-five. So forty-six by thirty-five. Okay. This is our type number one. Now let's go to type number two. Okay. Type number two is the denominators are same, but the numerators are different. Two by seven plus three by seven. Two by seven plus three by seven. Here, seven is equal to seven, right? Seven is same over here. The denominator is same. So what do you do? Is just add the numerators. Two plus three. Now you get it out. What about the denominator? Nothing. Just write the same denominator which you have. Okay? You have to just add the different numerators, and you will get the value. Five by seven. Now, next example is two by five plus five by five. Yeah, you get again very easy. It's just one, so you get one two by five. Okay, one two by five. But let's take another example. Two by five is a different. 
hundred one plus seven by five. Nothing, no changes in the process. Same denominator, but the numerator is different. Two plus seven, which is nine. Nine by five. Okay, nine by five is the answer. Note down. So what do you do here? Take some sums based on the types which I explained you. Now, what do you do over here? Okay, three by five, six by fifteen, seven by twenty. So in our last case, the denominators were same. So in this case, our denominators are not same. What do you do now? I'll say what to do in this case. So take out a common multiple. First, take out a common multiple, not the least common multiple as we do in normal addition. Take out the common multiple. So here, suppose we can take thirty as common multiple. Five into six thirty. Fifteen into two thirty. Thirty into one is thirty, right? So into one plus into two plus into six. Now the answer you get is. Eighteen by thirty plus six into two, twelve by thirty plus seven into one, which is seven. Twelve plus seven, nineteen. Nineteen plus eighteen. Nineteen plus eighteen, which is thirty-seven. Equal to thirty-seven by thirty. So now here comes the real part. We took the common multiple as thirty, so we got the answer thirty-seven by sixty. So now let's take sixty as the common multiple, right? Right. We can take sixty comes in five table, multiple of fifteen and also multiple of thirty. Now let's take sixty as the common multiple and solve now. First, let's take sixty as common multiple and solve. Okay. Three by five plus six by fifteen plus seven by thirty. This is the fractions we took, right? Now, sixty as the common multiple. Now, what do you do with thirty? Thirty into two, right? Fifteen into fifteen into four. Fifteen into four. Five into twelve. Five into twelve. Now we add the numerators by multiplying. Three into twelve. Okay. Three into twelve, which is thirty-six plus. Six into four, twenty-four plus seven into two, fourteen by sixty. This is the common multiple, right? Common multiple which we took, sixty, fourteen plus twenty-four, thirty-eight, thirty-eight plus thirty-six, seventy-four, seventy-four by sixty, seventy-four by sixty. Now we have the last answer, right? What's our last answer? If you don't remember, you can rewind the video and see. Thirty-seven by thirty. Okay, this is our last answer. Now you check out. Can we cancel this? Seventy-four and sixty. Can we cancel? Wait. Let me write over here. Or else, seventy-four and sixty. Can we cancel? Yes. We have four and zero at the ending, which are even numbers. I mean. Which are cancelled by two. Cancel seventy four, in which we get thirty seven and sixty. Thirty. So this is our old answer, right? Yeah. When we took thirty as the common multiple, the same answer we get thirty seven by thirty. And if we take sixty as the common multiple, again we'll get the same answer. That's the logic here. If we take ninety. 
120, 150, 180, 210. Any answer, any common multiple we take, if we cancel the value, you will get 37 by 30. Okay? If we cancel, you get 37 by 30. 74 by 60 and 37 by 30. Note down, this is very important for you. Not only 37 by 30, we can take any other example. 3 by 5 plus 6 by 15 plus 7 by 30. We will take another example. 1 by 3 plus 5 by 6 plus 8 by 12. Okay? Take a common multiple. Common multiple, you can take 12. Yeah? 6 into 2 and 3 into 4. Right? We can take 12 as the common multiple. Now what do you do? 1 into 4. As we add normally, yeah, you just follow those steps. 5 into 2, 10 plus 12 into 1, which is 8 into 1, which is 8. Okay. Now for the denominator, we have, we have the common multiple, which is 12. 4 plus 10, 14. 14 plus 8, 22. 14 plus 8, 22. 22 by 12. Okay, 22 by 12. Here we get 22 by 12. And if we take the common multiple, if we take the common multiple as 24. Okay, now keep 22 by 12 aside. If we take the common multiple as 24. 12 into 2, 6 into 4 and 3 into 8. Yeah? Right? Now 1 into 8. 8 plus 4 into 5. 20 plus 8 into 2. 16. 8 plus 20 plus 16. Now the denominator as we took our common multiple 24. Okay? Now 8 plus 20, 28. 28 plus 16. 28 plus 16. 44. 44 by 24. Now watch 22 by 12 and 44 by 24. Now cancel it by 2, which is 12. 22 by 12 again. As I said, how many examples you take, you try at your rough book. Take more examples and keep on taking the common multiples. So here common multiples of this, I'm saying for you, 48, uh, okay, 72 and 96, 98 and 108. And after 108, we can take 120, 144 and many, 156. Okay, so just practice as I said, you can learn this very easily. After this, I will also make videos on fraction, subtraction, multiplication and division. That's it for this video. Bye-bye.